what, the analogy I always use is gamers, and I respect gamers, okay? But this is where I think they're full of shit and they should shut the fuck up, okay? I've said this over and over. Gamers act like, when it comes to video games, anything that the developer has created, the day the game launches, if it's available, it's mine. It's mine. I paid $60. Whatever you've worked on, it's mine. And to me, it's the equivalent of a gamer walking into McDonald's and paying for a Happy Meal and going, what? There's French fries back there. I see French fries. Well, yes, sir, but you only paid for a Happy Meal and that only includes a medium fry and that's in your box. Have a nice day. No, no, no. I see French fries. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there may be a McFlurry over there off to the right behind you there. That's mine. I get that too. That's exactly how gamers act when it comes to content that's available that's not on the disc when they buy it. Okay? The difference is if you buy the Happy Meal and there's one single French fry and half a hamburger then you have every right to be fucking pissed and go, what the fuck? This is not worth my money. I want my money back. Fuck you, McDonald's. Okay? But if you've paid for a Happy Meal and if you are happy with the content in the Happy Meal for your money, just because there's more shit behind the counter at McDonald's doesn't mean you deserve it. And where in the fuck gamers got the idea that just because it exists, it's theirs? I'm not one of these let's mock that everyone gets a trophy generation people. But in this case, I think maybe there's some validity to it. A little bit of validity to it. The rabid gamer fan base is lame at times for sure, said S and, uh, uh, S and C. I think so. Um, I fucking love French fries. I do too. I love them too. My dad says, where's the cutoff point, Jaffe? It's, you'll know it when you see it. If, if, if we released uh, Twisted Metal on PS3 and there was two cars in one level and everything else was DLC, but we charged you $60 for it, I would suggest that we would have missed the mark, that we would have fucked up big time. But we didn't do that. A game developer and the game publisher is always balancing, okay, what goes in that box and what can we sell afterwards? Whether it's totally done or not is not really the game player's business. The game player's business is, did I get the goods for the money I paid? Did they treat me great as a customer? Do I feel taken care of as a customer? If the answer is yes, it's none of the gamer's goddamn business what else the developer has in the cannon to fire. That's, 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 that's got nothing to do with them. Um, 